I'm in the warm and the dry for once, which is nice. Uh, here we have the clutch master cylinder and the brake servo and brake master cylinder. And what I'm going to do is just strip them down and see whether or not they're rebuildable or whether there's corrosion inside here, which means that even with new seals, it won't last long. So I'm going to take both of them apart and see what's going on. The servo, I don't actually think it's failed uh, from a very quick test in the car, although it's difficult to tell when you're not actually driving it. There did appear to be some sort of life in there. So um, depending on how bad this rust is here, I might actually just clean that one up and then um, reuse it. But if I can, save me about 100 quid getting another one from Rumor Brothers. I'm starting with the clutch master cylinder. I've got the port out and the remains of the old brake hose, but I cannot for the life of me get that cap off. Um, it's steel and, well, I think it's steel and the body is alley. Uh, so it's basically fused together. So I'm going to bring my friend Mr. Map Gas out again and um, heat the thing up and see if I can't get it to shift like that. You might notice I've got a battery in the background on charge. So fire and hydrogen probably not a great idea. But I'll be careful. Well, it didn't blow up. I don't know whether you can hear that. We've got some interesting crackly noises. So I'm going to turn it upside down and drown it in WD-40 again and then um, try again with some big grips. Fizzing away nicely, so hopefully it's doing something. I actually ran out of gas in this one, so I had to puncture a hole for it without, um, yeah, popping myself as well. Got it off. I don't know whether you can see that, but it's actually smoking still. Very crusty inside. I don't think that's had fluid in it for a very long time. And you can see why it was reluctant to come off. I'm not sure whether that will go again, whether that could be cleaned up or whether that's for the bin. We shall see. Right. I've got the um, sir clip off and taken the rod out, which, you know, it's not on the fluid side, so that will clean up and that can go again. In here we have the piston, which if I press it, feels nice and free to move, but obviously I can't get that out as it is. So what I'm going to do is um, put the cap back on, then attempt to fire it out using compressed air, which will be quite interesting. I'm not sure I'll be able to record that because that'll be a, a two-hand job. We are good to go. Turns out I can do this one-handed if I use my trusty full vice. So we have cylinder in vice, rags underneath. That's the outlet port. So if we stuff compressed air in there, hopefully the barrel and all the seals will shoot out. So here we go. Nothing. Turns out this might be a two-handed job. That was definitely not a one-hand job. Basically, a lip of rust had formed in the end of the bore, which was preventing the um, piston and seal from coming out. So what I did was I pushed the piston back inside the cylinder and then got some um, scrapers and emery paper and stuff and just cleaned off that wear lip. So that could all slide forward. I was expecting to find all of that corroded and completely ruined. That is a surprise. It's actually really good. Uh, so, yeah, I'm impressed with that. Um, let's take this outside. <coughs> I haven't actually looked in this yet. Okay, that's less encouraging. You might not be able to see that. Well, you can see that site shadowing. That's basically crap that's built up on the inside. This, of course, is alley, so it's not rust. Um, so we should be able to clean that off. And as long as there's no deep scoring, um, this body should be okay to go again. 
I got bored of doing this by hand. Uh, I'm trying to clean the crap out, so I've snapped an old toothbrush up and shoved it in my pillow drill. Uh, with the result that. Doesn't have a lot of reach, but it'll be doing something. Toothbrush wasn't doing it, so now we have some very mild grade, worn out sandpaper. Not sure if you can see this, but we have a marked improvement in the bore. I'll try and take a flash photo, but um, yeah, basically, toothbrush was too soft, and so I swapped to, oh, there we go, sandpaper. There's still a bit of crap in there, but um, I don't want to be too rough in case I mess up that machine surface. So obviously the seal has to make a good fit against that, so I don't want to um, oversize it or anything. I'm back from holiday, carrying on with the brake master cylinder. I've driven out the roll pins which held the reservoir to the cylinder itself. You can see there's corrosion starting between the, um, well, around the ports. So it probably is a good, re a good thing that I am actually going to rebuild this now. I've decided I might as well because the seal kits are pretty cheap. Um, Inside though you can see the springs or the tops of them and that all looks good So I'll continue stripping it down and then get the pistons out and um, clean them up To actually get the um, the guts of this thing out You need to remove that nylon circlip and then Behind that seal is a little bobbin. You can just see it there uh, you lift that out and that allows the second set of the, 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 the cylinder to come out, um, which is for the rear brake lines. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, circlip out there. Uh, and then that's the small bobbin, which was in there. As soon as I pulled that out, this lot shot out forwards. So... That shows it's not seized and no significant wear lip could have built up. Uh, so I made a mess of my workbench, but actually it's quite good because once again, check that out. No real rust build up. So it doesn't look like water's been getting in there. Um, so that's for the front brake circuit. The rear brake circuit is still in here. So I'm gonna uh, put the compressor on and try and blast that out. Same as I did with the, um, or same as I tried to do with the clutch master cylinder. You can probably hear the compressor charging up in the background, so I've uh, been playing with this in the meantime. That is all the sediment and crap that's built up inside the cylinder over the period. It's really hard and, um, you know, not nice stuff to have moving up and around a seal. So it makes me wonder whether in fact this thing has not actually been leaking a little bit. Because we've got quite a lot of corrosion on the front of there so I think it has been leaking and it's stripped off the paint which is why it's rusted so of course brake fluid's corrosive so yeah it probably was worth doing the seals in this thing because it would be stupid to put it back in the car without having done that right remember what I was trying to show you blasting cylinders out or the guts of cylinders out with an airline I'm going to try and do it again with this one. I'm basically covering the reservoir port which would have gone to the cylinder for the rear circuit. Then I'm going to put compressed air from my compressor into the outlet for the rear circuit and that should blow the um, rear seals and everything out and forward. nothing yet I'll put the thing down so I can actually get two hands on it right that definitely works so all that's been pushed forward and we should be able to just pull it out now Ta -da! again not any serious corrosion on that happy days I've made a somewhat disappointing discovery I've been cleaning up the uh, cylinder housing and I've found, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this, 
right there is some pitting corrosion on the cylinder wall that's right at the front which isn't a big deal because um, the seal doesn't actually move past that but further up you can just see it there I thought that was corrosion on the surface but it's not it's actually pitting corrosion in the alley clutch master is all cleaned up and good to go brake master cleaned up but uh, pitting corrosion on the inside means that I might actually junk this and try and get a new one instead because I'm not terribly happy about the um, the corrosion to the, the walls inside which I'll try and show with a photo.